up, you guys? I'm back. And I bet y'all like, dang, girl, where you been at? I just been busy with life. I've been doing nails and stuff, but it's just the recording. The recording is a whole different deal. Like, you really have to sit down, record, make sure everything is good and lighting, the setup. Um, make sure you got time. I know you people with kids understand. And you know what I'm saying? Then you got to work on your set and stuff. And then, oh, it's just so much. Then you got to get to your laptop or your computer or whatever. Load it up. It's just so much stuff. And I was just like, forget that. It's really slowing me down. And I had like a bunch of stuff I really wanted to do. So I had just really took time for myself and was like, I'm just going to focus on working some sets and not even working, like focus on no videos or anything. And that's what I've been doing. But I actually have more time to actually record and uh, upload some videos and I thought a few videos would be cool for you guys like I've been working on some press songs um, I've been making those shorts and I know some people have seen the shorts so yeah like I'll do that just be like hey I'm still in the mix you know I'm just not making a video like some long videos but um, yeah I just been making press songs and uh, that's what I've been doing. And actually, I'm using another phone. The phone I'm on right now, it glitches. Like, it'll probably cut off in and out. That's when you see me like. Anyway, my other videos, you'll see how it looks. Well, I try to edit it the best I can though. But uh, yeah, I actually tried to record some videos on my main phone and it's not compatible with my laptop. And I'll try to Bluetooth it. And when I tell you that Bluetooth takes all day, like, oh my gosh, I tried to video, like, I think I recorded something for like eight minutes and I tried to Bluetooth it. And when I tell y'all that thing took more than three hours and still, oh my goodness. And tell me why I had to leave when I pulled off and I was like, oh no, my video. And it was like, I disconnected, it failed. And I was like, dude, I just did this for three hours. And this was just a clip of the video. So, you know, I, I do have just a little bit, just a few things. I think, I think that was the last time I was like trying to record that. And then I couldn't upload and I was like, you know what, forget this. I'm just going to be focused on just doing me without it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna like make a little few videos here and there if you guys like it cool you know what I'm saying like you know I'm not the type to be like I'm gonna be posting videos every day not saying there's anything wrong with that but I just don't have the time um I have children I have a husband I have family like I have other things going on in life that just keeps me from doing that which is fine I'm not complaining I'm just saying like I just cannot so anyway as you can see on my hands, these are some press on nails and they are curved. And I'm just gonna give you a backstory on these nails. Um, so, <clears throat> I love curved nails. If you've seen some previous videos of mine, I've said that I love curved nails. Now, curved press ons, you do not see them, okay? So, I'm like, I'm look at going to Google. I went to YouTube. There's one lady. Hold on. There's one lady. Oh, what's her name? I follow her. I follow her on YouTube. I think it's Cindy Loves Makeup and Nails or something. Miss Cindy Loves. She's sweet. I ain't seen her in video. She seems sweet. Anyway, she was the only one who had some um, curve press on video. The ones that pop up on me. Now, it could be other ones. And I just haven't seen them, but she's the only person who popped up. So, you know, let me backtrack. She's the only person who popped up and I watched her videos and she was dope with it. She had some cute blue press on nails. She had the other, the other one, um, what was it Empress? Huh, I'll show you what she had. She had these nail tips. She had these. And then she was like, you know, I'm going to tell you, got them from Amazon. And I was like, okay, cool. I already have those. You know what I'm saying? So, but I was like, I don't really want them that long because I still have stuff to do. It's spring. I like to get out in my garden and stuff. And, you know, that's just a lot of things I want to do. But these, boy, I said, I got these. I got the cocktail curve. I said, okay, so let me go ahead and um, use these. So, what I do is these are these nails. These aren't just regular prep. Y'all, 
I have like this outlet and I got too much stuff plugged in. And you see how that light just went out? Like, hold on. Okay, and we're back. Anyways, okay. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, you get these nails. And, you know, you size them up. Can I use that one? I use one. I can't use one. Okay. So, you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they tips. You know, you put it at the tip of your nail and everything. And you add the acrylic or whatever you're doing. But with this, you take the nail. On the side here you see how this is like bulking out like that you don't want that because when you put it it's like it's a gap there with press-ons you know you want it you want it to be flat see that curve you don't want it to be you want it to be flat so what you do is you and don't talk about my fingernail file because boy I've been using it on myself and I'm gonna get into that in a second I finally it still work and it's only only use it on me so and I'm not gonna use this nail on anybody so don't think that either. And then alright. And then you see right here at the bottom, you know where your uh, cuticle is at and everything. Of course you know you push your cuticle back. And then you, uh, you know, you check it out. You're like, hey, my cuticle look like this. Some people have like a flatter cuticle. Some people have a round one. Some people have oval. Um, on my thumbs, they're more uh, square with a little curve. And on my finger, they're more uh, oval. So you make sure that you do that. And here it is sometimes, you know, if you want. To smooth it out with the buffer. You can smooth it out with the buffer. And then you see, you see how it's all smooth. And then when you put it on, it's gonna cover. You know what I mean? It's no gap. Now this. This is too small. I don't think I use this one. I don't know. I might have, but anyway, you get the idea. I'm trying to give you the idea. So you're like, girl, what's the curve? Okay, boom. This is how you do it. And of course, you know what I'm saying? Get you a little stand. Hold on. What those stuff Get you a stand. I got some sticky tack, you know, sticky tack from school. The, you know, the school area and the store school supplies okay and then you get it and you put it on here and then of course you do your polish whatever polish you want to use oh, I hope you guys can see okay whatever polish you want to use you know what I'm saying um It doesn't even matter. It's not like I'm gonna work on this because I got a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyway, I'm just giving you an idea that um, this is what I do to make curved press -ons. And you know, I've seen people take curved tips and add another nail underneath it and then file on the side that's cool do that if you want to i'm not going to do that i'm not especially if this works just as good these nails i've had these nails on since uh saint patrick's day which was friday i've had these nails on since friday okay they're fine okay i'm not going to do all that extra stuff uh, maybe they just didn't know a different method or they didn't think it would work i don't know 
Hey, Pooh. Okay. So, you know, I'm not going to do... Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, yeah, that's that's how I make my press-on nails. And you can check it out yourself um, if you, like, curve, you know. So, don't, don't stress about not having curve press on now it's like you just get this tip shape it put it on put your top coat put your base coat color top coat you done that's it boo so with these nails um i said that i had these on since friday i was actually trying to take uh these nails off because these were previously green i had them green for st patrick's day and when i had them on um i used some nail remover and the green was like still around the edges so i started like shaping them and everything like shaping i started filing them and everything and the green didn't completely come off so i was like oh my gosh it's gonna be so ugly so instead of soaking them off like i should have i started ripping them off and i shouldn't have did that because i ended up tearing up one of my nails like i say tearing up one of my nails started lifting and um I said lifting, it was cracked, okay? This fingernail was uh, cracked because uh, I just, uh, I cracked my nail before with the nail on it. You see what I'm saying? And you know how crack, it'll crack the real nail. But it's healed, it's healed. It's not like I could see any meat. I'm just saying like, that's the situation. But I end up tearing it some more and now it's just got like a little crack but it's not like you know i'm not hurting and it's, it's not like over stuff and everything but anyways i end up taking these off like in the wrong i shouldn't have but in the midst of all like you know i'm just gonna make it work so um, i don't know if you can see it but it's like yeah i can see it's like a little green right here and everything and i was like you know i'm not gonna worry about it but i had these on since st patrick's day which was on a friday and today is wednesday so the curved nail you don't have to worry about them lifting um everything is cool they work just like regular press-ons i'm sure they'll stay on for a full week if not two weeks uh probably longer because i really try to be aware when i use my hands and everything you know like you should when you have nails on and um yeah these are like i said some curved press-ons and I cut them down. So I was going for a different look as well. Um, they were longer. And it was okay. But, you know, I wanted to get stuff done. So I cut them a little short. And I was like, oh, I want to go for a shorter look. So that's why they're like this. They're cute. You can still see some curve in there. And uh, the polish I use is Rosalind. I never used this before until um, a couple weeks ago I got this. They had a sale. I don't know if you say it was a sale, but I got like 20 bottles for like 15 bucks. Now the bottle is small, but still it's it's a really good product. Um, and I'm gonna get into that in a different video. But uh, this is the color I use, 133. Yeah, I use 133. And uh, it's a really cute pink. Also like an Easter pink. So yeah. Well yeah you guys. I'm just trying to give y'all. I'm about to give y'all some more videos. Because like I said I got a few things that I want to say. But I'm not going to put them all in one video. So boom. You know what I'm saying. Like I'm finna, um, finna end this. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.